Are you like me where you have a map that has a ton of layers and you have to scroll through it to find them, to turn them on or off, or to select them to do something with the, the ribbon? ArcGIS Pro's ribbon changes depending on what you have selected in that contents pane. Your efficiency takes a real hit when you can't find the layer you need to select in order to make the ribbon be what you need it to be. There's this handy little button that lets you filter what is in the contents pane, and it's this button up here left of the search window. You click it and it gives you a bunch of options. Uh, all is the default. You can change that to be just visible layers which is handy. Another handy one is this standalone tables. Those are down at the bottom of the contents pane. And so being able to just bring them up to the top with one click is really great. Makes you more efficient. Fewer clicks, fewer scrolling, less scrolling. You can change it to be not visible if you want to turn something on. Focusable images is used for the image analyst extension, but it also shows you what rasters are in my contents. Active definition query. This one lets you know if there are layers that are restricting what is being shown or what's available to you. So it shows you your active definition queries. And if you go to the data tab, you can see this query one is active. The next one, we talked about standalone tables. The feature layer filter limits just feature layers. It just shows you feature layers. Pretty easy to understand that one. Empty feature layers shows you layers that have no features in them, empty, so that you don't have any anything added to them yet. Then there's graphics layer. I have three graphics layers in this in this map. Raster layers. And then finally, tiled service layer. And this world imagery base map is a tiled service layer. So that's a little trick to help you get your contents pane narrowed down to something you're trying to find instead of scrolling up and down, trying to look for it by its symbology or its name. But then you also have this search window that lets you narrow it down yourself by certain search terms. There you have it, a good way to be more efficient in finding layers and limiting what the contents pane is showing you. Thanks for tuning in. Give that like button a chop down at the bottom. We'll see you next time. Focusable images is used more with the image and that, I can't say image analyst. Foc Focusable images, that's a weird word to say. Focusable images is more